Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm Morali and this is part, what, 16 now? Uh, of my Xenoblade Chronicles playthrough. So last episode we did some, uh, last couple episodes, we did some Colony 6 stuff. And we upgraded, we got those like uh, flower beds over there, we got some shops here and stuff. So, uh, like I said, let me know if you enjoyed those. Those episodes are not out yet, so I don't know what everyone, you know, what people thought or whatever. But, uh, you know, a few... If you want to see more of that stuff, uh, we explored all of this down below as well. Sorry, I, I'm I'm a little bloaty right now because I ate some cereal. I don't I don't know if anyone really cares, but yeah. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, so we kind of explored that bottom area there, looking for hoads, and uh, yeah, so now we're kind of back to uh, the story. So let's kind of talk a little bit about the. Um, the story. I mean, we have the story memo here, which is the uh, that Melia and Ricky joined us. Um, Ricky <clears throat> joined us because he's the hero pawn this year, uh, and he has some debts to settle, right? And um, they said that the, the I guess the elder or whatever said that uh, if he defeats the quote unquote Dino Beast, which is the Telethia, then um, <clears throat> that stuff will be forgiven. His debts will be forgiven. And for whatever reason, Melia has the task of defeating that beast as well. Uh, something to do with her homeland and stuff, so uh, I'm gonna take the direct route. I don't know why it's having me go all the way around, so. Um, we got these cool rocks right here. So yeah, uh, the Telethia being um, actually like a really... It, it's one of the, like... Because we fought some Telethia, but this is like the leader. This is like the leader of the pack, so to say. Uh, and that's kind of what we're hunting right now, so... Um, but yeah, so remember, they're, uh, they feed on ether, right? They, they, the Telethia function on ether, um, which Melia seems to be able to like kind of control in even a different way than um, Sharla can. Um, but we know that the Dino Beast went somewhere, the Dino Beast, the Telethia went somewhere where there's a lot of crystals. So look at those crystals coming out of there. That is where it's resting right now. Oh my god, hello. Um, hello. Oh god, he's coming this way. I gotta jump. Oh my god, look at that guy. He's gigantic. Level 98. Oh man, he could eat us. <clears throat> oh god, there's another one. Holy crap. Yeah, so you, you, like, as we go deeper into the jungle, like, they become bigger and bigger. There's some, uh, inferno dinos right there. Alright, look at that. So remember how the area was kind of like gray uh, before where she fought the uh, Telethia, uh, where Melia and her group fought the Telethia? It's because they suck the ether, like something sucked the ether out of the area, right? And that's what kind of like killed everything, which is kind of the life force of everything. And uh, the same kind of is happening there because I'm guessing the Dino Beast, the, uh, d d I keep saying Dino Beast, uh, Telethia, oh, it's raining. Uh, Telethia is absorbing the ether in the area, and, uh, yeah, so it's somewhere in there. So, uh, let's get right into the action here, guys. Let's, let's do it. What is this? Ricky never see before? This not Ricky's Machna? Ricky never see before? To think it has caused this much damage. What do you mean? Are you telling me the Telethia did this? Telethia absorb and drain the surrounding area of all its ether. That's it. The Telethia is sucking up all the ether which is causing the natural environment to change. Shulk, the Telethia can read your mind. Expect it to know what you will do before you do it. I know. I'll aim for its antenna and stop its ability to read my thoughts. With the Monado at our side, it doesn't stand a chance. It's much more powerful than its offspring. Do not expect it to fall so easily. I won't. But we have to trust in the Monado. Shulk has only met Telethia once, and they were merely the spawn. So why is he so sure of himself? Is it confidence, or a trust in something? Yes, it is trust. He trusts in the power of that sword. What did he say it was called? The Monado. I 
see. <gasps> Stick together, everyone! Dino Beast! Because Ricky imagined it! Get to left here. I take this chance to bring vengeance to my brethren and fulfill my duty. Show, I will trap it and cease its movement. Strike when the time is right! Melia! <sighs> Be still! Oh yeah! She's nifty with that stuff. I knew it. She can control ether energy without using catalysts or rifle shells. I've heard that such people exist. But I never thought she would be one. Shulk, right, Shala. Protect Melia at all costs. On it. Right. Ah! Alright. Uh I I just thought I'm like, maybe we need to swap the party. Uh, though I do like Dunban, I think I'm going to play as Melia and I'm going to bring in Shulk. Uh, reason being because I would like to uh, actually use, because he uses, doesn't he use Purge? Uh, that is the Aura Seal, so we kind of need that. Remember, Telethias use Auras, which uh, give them the ability to like uh, predict our movements and stuff. So, I'm gonna level that up all the way. So, there we go. So, that should be good. That's a level four on that. Um, and then Melia, I'm just kind of gonna use because that's, I don't know, it's just gonna be better for me to do that. Um, she didn't use, so the ability that you guys saw, I don't think that was Burst End. She used. She used a different ability that she's going to learn. I don't know if she's going to learn that right after this battle or when. Um, but yeah, we'll have to just see. So let's just try it with these guys. We should be pretty good. Oh, there it is. Okay, Melia just learned that. Uh, and she doesn't have it with her now. That's really annoying. <laughs> yeah, Mind Blast. Uh, which is kind of annoying that we don't have it. But because right, she has burst end and then mind blast oh god we're falling asleep uh oh this is not good yeah this is not going well okay to leon telethia that's a big telethia too um let's scroll yeah All right, set him on fire, man. We're doing okay right now, uh, I think. Use the spear break. Yeah. Poke him in the butt. Manifest yourself. Uh oh, okay. What is he doing? What is that? Right, Shulk. Destroying the Telethia is beyond us. We should cut our losses and mourn those who perished. Never, Melia. The men you lost, I can tell they were dear to you. I know only too well that desire for revenge and the crushing pain of losing those close to you. 
I can't stand by unless another person experience what I have. This monster is going down. I'll trap him with the Monado. Then the rest of you hit the Telethia with everything you have. Thank you. Ready? All right, so we get a little bit of um, like a little bonding moment, I want to say, between the two of them, or between you know Melly and the group, really. Um, and uh, yeah, I, you know it's so funny because one of the episodes earlier, I forgot, I forgot. Um, I forgot Fiora's name. I was like, yeah, the girl that died, you know the one? Yeah, her. So funny. I, I was like, I can't believe I forgot Fiora's name. We keep missing because they have an aura. We need. He needs to use his ability to break the. They have the aura where nothing we do is gonna hurt it, and that sucks. Um, inflict poison, Lurgy. Lurgy. Okay, he doesn't have. Wow, we missed. Great! So much damage that we did. Alright. Uh, yeah, well, that's not that great. Is it? That's okay. Am I too far away from him to heal him? Alright, maybe burst end can help here. No. So she needs her ability, and I don't know how to get that into this battle. Shulk needs to use his... Why is Shulk not... There it is. He's using it now. Yes. Okay, go, go, go. Alright, cool. So that's sealed for a little bit. He finally used that ability. Holy crap. See, that's why it's, sometimes it's good super heal. Oh no, he has a super heal buff. Oh god. That's why it's good to sometimes be playing the main character. Uh, let's do Lurgy again. Leave it to me. Did he just? I'm really feeling it. Do not hesitate, Shulk. He didn't use his ability though. That's so annoying. Did you see that Shulk? Shulk was supposed to use his uh, sealing ability, but he didn't. His purge ability, and he he didn't. I heard because I heard the voice cue. That's why I know. All right, come on. We can do this. Crash pow, crash pow. Ether cannon too. Ooh, that did. All right, I sacrificed my own health, but I can regenerate with Aqua. All right, let's do that again. Yeah, I resisted. No, that's not good. Yoink. 
Alright. Just use it. Ah, oh, there we go. Look at that buster. 14,000 or something? Nice. Brilliant thinking. Even though the Telethia can absorb large amounts of ether energy and regenerate at an incredible rate, absorbing so much energy caused it to implode. Who would have thought? Brute force wins again. Nothing like an old-fashioned scrap. Dixon would have been proud. It was the only way I could think of. If there had been another way... Don't listen to Dunban. Soon you and that Monado will be unstoppable. It's like a Tefra cave. It was almost natural, instinctive. The Monado responded to me, and I harnessed a new power. You'll get your chance, Shulk. We'll turn that face mech on into scrap. I know. That's what keeps me going. Oh God, Garin, Damil, Aizel, are you there? I did it. It's dead, did you see? I thank you for your aid in my cause. Justice has been served. You're welcome. Besides, it was mostly you. Dino Beast! Hereupon Ricky ready for round two! <laughs> hey, hey! A fight over already? No, oh, Ricky not no! I'm afraid it's all finished. We couldn't have done it without you, brave little Hereupon. <laughs> <laughs> Ricky brave! Ryan also a little brave. Ricky happy happy. <laughs> Ricky is so cute. All right, so we finished off the Dino Bees. It would have been nice to use Mind Blast. Uh, I don't know why they don't give it to you like right before, but yeah. here upon Ricky, be proud. Here upon Ricky, tough guy. Here upon Ricky, bestest. Look at him, barely hit a toe, and he gets all the praise. Oh, let him have his glory. A few days ago, the villagers wouldn't give him the time of day. Besides, won't you miss him just a little bit? Chief Dunga, Ricky beat Dino Beast. Does Ricky still have debt? No, Ricky. Your debts are repaid. However, while you were gone, your little ponds ate like ravenous Oluga. It set Chief Dunga back quite a bit. No pawn, no frontier village. A new prophecy has been told. Our hereupon slayer of Dino Beast will further his legend by accompanying the Hom Hom on their travels and bringing peace to the lands of Bionis. Oh, Ricky never hear this. It was prophesied many years ago. Chief lying. Chief make a prophecy one minute ago. Oh, Ricky mad. Ricky, go with these people. For the sake of the village, you must go. My instinct is never wrong. <gasps> Do not worry, Ricky. Your little ponds will be taken care of. <laughs> Dadapon stomach rumble. Dadapon need food. Dadapon need food now. Dada, Ricky, what on by honest is going on? Friends, meet Ricky, wifey pon, and little pon. You have got to be joking. Wife and children. Ricky, how old are you? Ricky have 40 years. <laughs> oh, friends look puzzled. 
Not puzzled, just surprised. Ricky! Oka borrow monies for Little Pond's food! Chief Danga know best! Ricky must work for Little Pond's to have good life! R Ricky will! Okay, Oka! Ricky happy to join friends! Ryan happy too. Come on, Furball. And return with your head held high, my dear. <laughs> Indeed. Thank you, Dunga. My thanks for your gracious help. Not at all. Peace has been restored to the Makna region. On behalf of all Nopon, thank you. Chief Dunga is very fond of Melia. Same hom hom, different world. Not fair if you ask me. Chief Dunga, will you kindly grant these homs passage to Aerith Sea? It is my promise to them. Without question! These hom hom fought valiantly in aid of our village, and a request by you, my dear, cannot go unanswered. I shall inform the villagers at once. You are too kind. The chief has spoken. You should depart for Erith Sea at once. Prepare your things and see me when you are ready. All right, so we get a little bit more. So she is now out of the group again, so. Uh, that's gonna happen every so often. But yeah, so remember guys, we went to Aerith C because, um, uh, let's see. Actually, we can keep them in. I'll play as Ricky for a minute. That's fine. I'll hop around. So, uh, remember, we're going to Aerith C because, uh, Shulk had a vision of a tower. Uh, a black tower. It's called Prison Island, uh, or something like that. Prison something. Um, and that's on the Air Sea, which is above the Machna Forest. So that's what we're journeying to. Uh, and yeah, so uh, apparently the Nopon are the keepers uh, of that, um, of the like, portal. I, I don't know. I don't know what they call it. Like portal or whatever, whatever they called it. The way to Air, Air, Air Sea. Um, and yeah, and then Ricky is 40 years old. He has all these children. And the. Uh, the elder, uh, Dunga, he comes up with this, like, prophecy on the spot. And it's just like, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, you gotta go do that. Uh, because his debts have been repaid, but his, uh, family is, like, borrowing money from the elder and stuff. So, uh, they're, like, this huge family. They're probably bigger than any other family. And they're just, like, eating all of the stuff, right? And they're just, like going through these stores and stuff so uh they're like oh yeah ricky you can go help and you know collect money and do things out there and blah 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 and so uh go do that for us so they kind of like send him on his way but yeah so ricky joins us permanently i mean you know obviously we knew that that was gonna happen right so oh quest complete nice look at that and we get some experience points awesome and we leveled up affinity coin awesome that's really really nice Look at that. Just talking to that NPC, we finished off the quest, and we got a crap ton of experience Ooh. points. Alright, let's talk to this guy. And, uh, yeah. And Melia is, was so nice to pretty much talk to the chief for us. And, uh, let us, you know, let us proceed forward with our journey. Alright, so we talked to him. Uh, this... Oh, okay, so if we're in the green, we can do that. So I think once you get close enough... Oh, no, when you're... Uh, it was when you're far far through... I always forget what it is. I always think it's like you have to be close in the friendship thing, but it's just a matter of the story progression. Alright, I think that was the last one of these, right? Wasn't that it? Maybe not, I don't know. But yeah, that's his house. So that's this is all his kids and Ricky's daughter, Ricky's son, and there's another one right there, another Ricky's son. 
They have this gigantic, is that another? No, that's just a villager. But yeah, they have a huge family, uh, as you guys saw, and um, yeah. Alright, so we journey, and this will be uh, kind of the end of this area. We're gonna, oh, that was Ricky's daughter again. Ricky's daughter and a Nopon villager. Okay. I love that they're named so you can find their kids and uh, find his kids throughout. Ricky kind of annoyed me. I, I don't know if I've talked about this. I think I have, but in the beginning of the 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 first time I played through this, even the second time I played through this, I don't know. I I didn't really like Ricky. I was just like, oh, he's so annoying. Wait, where are we going? Am I going the right way? I'm going the wrong way. Where am I? Where am I supposed to go? Oh, up here. Um, he it just annoyed me. He was just like this really annoying character to me. Now he's just cute to me. You know, he has this cute little stuff and that he says and these little things that are happening is this this was the elder's house right yeah yeah the chief not elder i keep calling him elder because he's his long beard or whatever all right so oh uh okay i was gonna do that other quest before i do this but melia what will you do now i would like to repay you for your help permit me to act as your guide to Aerith Sea. of course we'd love you to but i must warn you Aerith Sea is vast do you know where you wish to go? There's a dark tower at the head of the Bionis. I saw it in a vision. That's where I must go. A dark tower? Then we need not search at all. So you've heard of it? Heard of it? I have seen it. A dark tower at the head of the Bionis. Only one place fits that description. So you know it? I believe what you saw was Prison Island. Prison Island? Dixon said the same thing. Indeed. Melia, have you ever been there? I have not set foot upon the island, but I know of it. Prison Island is sealed. No one may enter without Imperial Sanction. Imperial Sanction, eh? That means we'll be needing someone to grant us entry. I've heard that Aerith Sea is home to an empire ruled by the High Entier. They might be our best chance. You are knowledgeable for a Homs. Sanctions? Empires? Anyone help here? Oh, a sanction is permission from someone important. An empire must be a place ruled by an emperor. In other words, we need an emperor's permission to enter the island. This emperor, is he important? Long before we Homs built the colonies, a group of so-called royal types, or imperials, ruled our lands. Think of them like the heads of our colony, but with much greater influence and power. Now I get it. Dumban knows more than a textbook. Are you kidding? That's first year Homs history, Ryan. I might have slept through that class. So when do we get to meet these high end tier folks? You are so... Oh, forget it. First, we must travel to the Imperial capital. We'll see how easy it is to see this Emperor. My promise was to be your guide. I will not break it. Melia, isn't that the... The shortcut to Aerith Sea. Yes. All right. So Melly is back. <laughs> yeah. Let's look at the arts here because she learned Mind Blast. So that removes auras and seals arts, and it's only available during... So this is really, really good, and I guess, I don't know, they just now replaced it with healing, uh, like healing gift with that. Um, I don't want that. I want healing gifts in there, but I'm going to put it next to uh, burst, and I'm going to level it up as well. Uh, I think we can, right? Yeah, we should be able to. Because that is a really strong ability. Uh, it'll do a lot of damage, and... Um, being able to seal again, like I, I will tell you guys right now, this is a little bit of a preview. I don't, I don't know if it's a spoiler really, but uh, we will be seeing more Telethia in the future. This is not the end of the Telethia, uh, which means that being able to seal their stuff in, uh, like they seal their um, arts or, or their auras, I mean, or whatever, uh, is going to be really important. So I just want to tell you guys that. Uh, Collectopedia, I think uh, we're still missing a bug is kind of weird it's not the empress beetle so i don't know um oh let's do this real quick uh but yeah so prison island and apparently there's an a, a race of 
of people like uh, uh, that used to rule these lands, but now they're not here anymore. And that is the High Entias. The, hi the High Entia are the ones that are kind of like uh, these, um, you know, these this this other these people that live in the Air Sea, and they're ruled by an emperor. So. Uh, really, really cool stuff. We're gonna get to see a lot more. I don't know if we're gonna see a lot this episode, but um, yeah, we're gonna see some stuff coming up, guys. All right, so we're going further up, because again, remember, Aerith Sea is at the head of the Bionis, which we're like that ring, those spikes that are coming out. Is that that's the ring at the at the like um, back, like that's on the like shoulders so to say sitting kind of on the shoulders of the bionis and uh so we're like right in the neck region is pretty much where we are all right and then i guess yeah all right so we talk to the transport guide me can send you to area c in a flash of light are you ready to go sure let's do it no reason not to go right What is it? Friends jump in bull! <laughs> All go to Erith! Jump? In that? You're nuts, Furball! You have nothing to fear! This will take us to Erith Sea. Yeah, <laughs> and Ryan is just like, uh. Come on, scaredy cat, go. And up we go. Alright, very that was mysterious, wasn't it? Okay. It looked like a Telethia and uh some lady. Who would have thought Erith Sea was right on top of Ricky's village? Dive deep enough, you can reach their tree. Perhaps you should try. Might do. Haven't decided yet. Is something wrong? Aren't you curious? About why we're going to Prison Island, I mean. It is not common for Homs to visit this region. You may have good reason, but forgive me. I do not pry into other people's business. It's definitely bugging her, Shulk. <laughs> how, how dare you, you clown. It's okay, Melia. We're not strangers anymore. Well, I... <sighs> you're right. So then you'll listen to our story? Yes. Tell me why you are here. Basically, it all started when... I see. I had heard about the mech on assault on the lower regions, but did not know the situation was so grave. How lucky we are. Hey, what's that? Is that? You are looking at Prison Island. So that's Prison Island? Yes. And that is the Imperial capital, Alchemoth. 
It's not just me, right? A floating city is a bit weird. Built with superior defenses in mind. Incredible. What technology makes this possible? I do not know. And I've never had the need to. You don't know? It doesn't freak you out? You can eat bread without knowing how to bake it. Makes sense to me. You will need Imperial sanction to enter Prison Island. Okay. We will travel to the capital first. And how do you expect us to get up there? Fly? There is a transporter up ahead. We can use that. We've been deep sea diving. Now we're gonna fly. This place gives me the creeps. But I guess we don't have a choice. Right. Onwards to the capital. Still. What is it, Dunban? It's a sight to behold. Those look like anti mechon defense systems. I don't know why he just pointed that out randomly, but yeah, so here we are. Um, so yeah, kind of, I mean, Ryan gets a little bit annoying in this, it, you know, he's just kind of like in disbelief of everything and then they're like, yeah, why don't you go for a swim? Like swim right to the bottom, you know, like uh, you, at least you'll shut up with your dumb, you know, whatever. Um, but yeah, so we're on top of Ricky's will village pretty much. He, he isn't wrong, right? We're straight above. That's the head over there. That's the horn on top of the head. So the head is right there. So we're like, uh, we're right in the back of the head, right? And and look, we get this pretty view. This is one of the areas. Uh, this is not the other area. I talked about two areas that look very different at night. I wouldn't say this is it. I mean, it does have some cool stuff here, like uh, like some aurora borealis over here, um, type of stuff. But what uh there, there's another area that i was talking about that looks different at night but yeah we kind of get like teleported like straight up here um there, there's nothing even here and and it's marked on the map as like whatever uh but yeah so here we are it's a new area we're gonna have a new collectopedia page um it's it's kind of opposing forces here right we kind of get this like white beautiful like uh capital and then it's across from prison island which is like this dark dreary little area or whatever so it's kind of really cool, but this is air sea. It has all these floating islands that are all connected. Oh, look, we just can can uh, collect a sea frog. Uh, so we have five percent already done. So, um, but yeah, so you see all these islands that are floating around. That's how you travel across. We can't swim. Like I could swim, and I could swim to that island over there that's on the ground that has that little like volcano type looking thing straight ahead. Um, but yeah, we don't need to do that because there's like these teleporters that we can take and there's a bunch of them and like every island is like connected with teleporters and then there's that like you see that's like a almost like a lighthouse right above Melia's head and stuff and then there's a little um, like a little tower over on that side. We're going to go to all those areas and stuff and we're going to uh, see what all that stuff is about. But yeah, we get some enemies here. Uh, I do want to show you guys what this looks like during the day because during the day it's very beautiful as well. So. Uh, we've kind of seen it what it looks like at night, so let's let's do day. Ta-da! Look at how bright and and sunshiny and oh man, like like this is where I'd want a vacation, right? This is like clear crystal blue water, like oh my god, it's it's amazing. It's really sunny and nice, and we have this. So we have enemies here. They're starting at level 37, um, and we can maybe maybe do a fight here and uh, see. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. I did hypnosis. I didn't mean to do that. Alright, so let's do this first end. And this attacks in a row. Mind Blast! I love Melia because she's gonna learn some really really good stuff guys later where 
Uh, I don't know if I've talked about this, but she's going to get a, like, a copy ability where she's going to be able to copy one of the latest. And again, she's not really strong right now because she doesn't have any manuals. We haven't been able to buy any manuals for her yet. And we don't actually have money, do we? Or have we collected some more money? Um, I, I don't know how to look at that. Does it? Oh, it says up there 46. I was like, can we see that someone? Um, but yeah, again, I'm, I'm trying to like kind of save money and stuff. So I might do some side quests off screen just to get some uh, more money. Not really levels, but money is the main concern for me. Uh, because we need manuals and maybe I want to do some more Colony 6 stuff. So, uh, but yeah, so uh, we have these like on land corals almost is what it look like. Like these look like coral, right? And um, it makes you think like maybe this was all underwater at some point. But yeah, so this is like magically held up. I remember talking about this in uh, one of the latest episodes where we got to Machina Forest and I said look at the sky and you could see it was like the bottom of the ocean uh, And there was like water floating above us when you when you looked up in Machina Forest and you can go back and look at those uh, Episodes and, and you know, we're gonna go back to Machina Forest at some point um, for sure, but um, Yeah, so that's kind of like it's like held above by like magic or something um, by ether or something it's held up so we have these teleporters oh and another thing i want to talk about so you guys will see up there that's the floating um the floating machines the the defense mechanism the uh the machines that are built for defense against mechon specifically so remember and i don't think they will talk about this but remember in colony nine when we first started out and we had to go get those cylinders those ether cylinders remember how we got there and it was this weird like uh shulk talked about how that was like a big machine that whole like it was some kind of vehicle he said and that when we went in there all of a sudden the defense mechanism activated because of the we at first didn't know why but then we realized it was because of the mechon right and it was built by the high end here that was our like first look at like the high end here used to rule all of bionis and now they are only up here at the head of the bionis so they've kind of retreated to just being here and you know living in the capital which is like this massive city up there and uh yeah so that's kind of like a technology like our first look at technology from the I high entia and this is more of it we get an actual like teleporter here she calls it a transporter but it's like i mean it's literally a teleporter so boom we get like teleported so we went uh you can kind of see the the red dots tell you the red lines tell you where you go so we went from all the way down there that's where we started that was where the beach was where we just started to here so we can see the head of the bionis uh, across there the the darker areas past there that's the mechanis uh, prison island up there more of those buildings that I talked about and stuff and yeah and we're on one of these little floating islands and um, yeah we get some enemies we get some nebula Ooh, okay we got some strong we got this turbulent Belmo he's like a boss dude um, I don't know if we want to face him um, remember these machines that was what we fought that's what we fought remember that and uh, yeah so here we are now with them So, uh, yeah, that was high entia technology. Alright, we got some items here. Easy monsters! Fighting easy monsters. So I'm gonna change to maybe uh, Dunban again. I, I really like Dunban. He's just pretty straightforward, pretty simple, and he's really strong too. Uh, so we have another teleporter here. We're kind of moving across here fairly quickly. All right, and we're getting luck. We're like really close. What do we have here? We got uh, we get some. Coats, actually, Let's believe go. it or not. Do your best. I want to see. Oh, we got a golden chest. Look at that. That's very nice. 
Nice. Yeah, Dunban is really good. But yeah, I do want to fight more enemies because I just, you know, I want to get... Nice. And what do we get? Embarrassing. Serpent armor and shield ram talk. So, is it just me? Or does, like... Orion get way more stuff than anyone else, specifically weapons dropping. Like, that is... Oh, apparently we need one of these items. For a future, we collected all three pieces. Jarek, to fix the windmill. Okay. I don't know what that means. But yeah, he gets constantly, he gets weapons dropped, and we don't even use him. So, look at that. And that's better than what we have right now. What is the break three? I don't know what break... Or break two, I'm sorry. Um, what does... Break, I don't know what break does. No. Hmm. I forgot, I forgot how to look that up. But, so we get the serpent armor. Okay. Uh, that, ooh, look at that. Oh, Ricky can't wear it. Come on. The one guy that would get just, like, straight up increase from that. Let's look at skill trees. Um, Ricky, skill links. Oh, man, if you could get this, you know, that would be... Oh, this, uh, double attack. Let's do this for now. Let's just change that. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let's go back. Because that gave me back some coins. I don't know if you guys saw that. Maybe I can... Ah, I can equip this. Okay, cool. So we'll do that. Oh, that's exactly 13 coins. Great. Uh, but now we have the ability to equip that on Ricky. And let's do that. Ta-da! And he gets like a... So he takes off the tiger stripe looking thing. All right, cool. Coolio. It's very beautiful out here, isn't it? The water is very nice looking. You can see the structure goes like deep down into the water and stuff. It's very cool. Very, very cool. Um, it, it is very vast. It's, it's so weird because Melia is like, oh, it's so vast. But there's not really that many places. Like, yes, there's islands to visit. Like, you can go over there. But there's really nothing there. So it's just like, where else? why else would we be coming to Eris Sea? Like, there's really no other reason to come here but to go to Prison Island. Like we managed to survive. Breaking like fighting easy monsters. Let's okay. stay focused. Let's go over over where we need to go. Get a little bit done. We got a lot of stuff done in this episode. So again, I might like I said, I might take a little um detour or something. I'm not quite sure. Uh, they're not gonna attack us, are they? No. Oh, we're collecting some items that we need for some future quests. Uh, Vidian, okay, something about Vidian and some marble, something, something. Marine marble, that's what we just collected. Yeah, so there's an atoll down there. Um, there's that island that I was uh, kind of looking at, you couldn't really tell, but that was the island I was looking at. There's another one way down there. Um, and then there's a beach on the far side, do you see that? You can even go to that beach on the far side. Uh, there's some islands here. Uh, there's an area over there, and there's also, I will tell you guys, that area way down there. Do you see that? We're we're going to go there uh, fairly soon, actually. We're going to go to that area down down at that very end there. So, um. Alright, so now we're at the central thing. We're like right underneath the thing, and this transporter right here will take us straight up into the city. Who are these guys? Are those wings on their head? They must be high end here. Welcome home, Lady Melia. Lady? Huh? Thank you, Captain. These Homs and this Nopon are my guests. See them safely to the guest quarters. 
Give them anything they need. As you wish. What's going on? I have no idea. Melia, are you...? Melia. I cannot speak now, but I shall fulfill my promise. I understand. I will arrange for an audience with the Emperor. Will you wait? We won't move an inch. Trust me. My thanks. Lady Melia, he says. Shulk, you're thinking the same as me. Whatever her position is here, Melia won't let us down. I'm sure you're right. <gasps> More of these guys. Right, that was weird, right? Report the Telethia's defeat to His Majesty and request entry to Prison Island. Shulk is depending on me. I must hurry to the audience chamber. All right, we're just playing as Melia now. All right, so here we are. This is the royal capital. We're inside. Look at this, guys. Ooh. Very futuristic. By the way, I hate stuff like that. They let you move like three you say inches the and then. Second consort's child survived her ordeal. Forgive me, first consort. I, Tyrea, vow to see your orders fulfilled. Whilst she's in the capital. Do not underestimate the lengths to which His Majesty and the child's loathsome goons will go. How, pray tell, will you avoid the guards? I will do whatever it takes. Oh, your stupidity bores me. Your Highness, Enough I... of your drivel! We will have our chance when she stakes her claim to the throne. It's a very high tech. Do you see that they have cars, flying machines, escalators, all this stuff. It's really cool stuff. So where is the I must oh I was gonna go shopping. They won't let me go shopping. Alright, whatever. Whatever. I don't actually want you to do anything. But yeah, so these are the high entia. So they have like wings on their heads and uh, yeah, and we get introduced to uh, the first consort, and then we hear about the second consort's daughter, which is Melia. Um, and yeah, so look at this, guys. Look straight ahead. You see that? It's a mural depicting the battle of the Bionis and Mechanis. That's cool, right? I really love that. It's very, um,. That's very Pokemon-esque, I feel like, the way that they depict that. Looks like uh, Dialga and Palkia, the way that they are portrayed there. A little bit, so. But yeah, isn't this cool? I love this. This is really cool. Some cool stuff. Whee! And a little fountain with the water coming out. Ooh. All right. Ascension Hall. We're going to this teleporter. We have these cool stairs. Are they made out of glass? I would I would be so afraid to walk on them if they were made out of glass. 
What if it breaks and you fall and you cut yourself off? <laughs> I don't know why I think of these really terrible things that could happen. Melia Antiqua, First Princess, has returned, Your Majesty. Raise your head. Your Majesty. The Telethia rained havoc on countless veteran knights. You triumphed where they could not. <laughs> I find it difficult to suppress these feelings of pride for you, my kin. But, Your Majesty, I failed to return with any of the subjects you entrusted to me. My inexperience cost them their lives. We will grieve for them. But it could not have been avoided. It was their duty and honor to fight beside you. They were all aware of your limits. Emperor! Keep those feelings of frustration close to you. It will help you to remember the debt you owe to those that have fallen. Your Majesty, concerning such debts, there were others who aided me. The Homs and Nopon that accompanied you to the capital, they have been arrested by Imperial security. Shulk and his companions? Yes, for reasons pertaining to the weapon this Shulk possesses. Shulk's weapon? Do you mean the Monado? So it is true. If that weapon is truly the Monado, we shall be forced to take action. Why? There is a legend passed down through the generations of a divine weapon, the Monado. It is said that the Bionis itself bestows the blade upon a chosen one. However, if the chosen one is black of heart, he will cause the destruction of the High Entia. Among Hyentia exist the good and bad alike. Homs and Nopon are no different. If this boy is the Chosen One. The Divine Seer's interrogation will reveal where his allegiances lie. So you intend to keep them confined? We must. Father, I mean, Your Majesty. I assure you, Shulk is of pure heart. As my successor, you will play a role of great importance. Calm your spirit, and be patient. I... Dear sister, I can see the Emperor's words have confused you. Brother. His Majesty has spoken. He recognizes you as the Crown Princess. You are to be the next ruler of the High Entia. Me? And not you? Yes. The Emperor asked for my counsel, and I told him as I tell you now. You will make a fine Empress. There is no one more suited to leading our people. You proved that when you dispatched the Telethia. I... I don't know what to... Melia. But the soldiers? I am not fit to rule. I should visit their families and beg for pardon. Melia, you know that this is not allowed. I know. But it does nothing for the guilt I feel. It is as the Emperor said. Grieve their departing and engrave in your heart their great deeds. I will. You are right to question these things, but take pride in who you are. The Emperor has chosen wisely in you, Melia. I am to be Crown Princess. Yes, you are. The Ministries of Research and Records are united in support of His Majesty's decision. I, Minister Lorithea, have no objection to your appointment. I understand. I would never openly question our Divine Emperor. But the wielder of the Monado 
The Chosen One might be a useful tool. You think so too? Yes, but a lowly servant of the realm such as myself could never question his majesty. However, if the Divine Seer were to intervene... The Seer could free Shulk. They should be exchanging words as we speak. All right, so we get dumped a lot of stuff. We get introduced to the Emperor uh, Sorian. Uh, Kallian is um, Melia's brother. Idiot bird brains. What do we do? A fancy prison is still a prison. What happened to Melia? I don't see her locked up in here with us. Exactly. She's in on this. Shulk, yeah, I don't know about that. Any thoughts here? Melia won't let us down. She promised to take us to Prison Island. And she's not the kind of person to break a promise. Okay, Shulk. You win. I believe you. And if you believe Melia, then no arguments from me. Alright, so uh, we're going to cut off the episode here, because it's uh, about that time, guys. Uh, so look, we can see Prison Island, and uh, we can see the capital down there, that's where the escalator was, and stuff like that. That's the uh, the big tower right there where the Emperor sits. But yeah, so we get a lot of information, right? We get introduced to the Prince, uh, Prince Kallion, we get introduced to uh, Yumea, um, who is the like the consort which is like i guess the wife I, I think of the emperor um we get introduced to uh uh Lor uh, uh i think that's how they called her lorothea um she is the minister of research and development or whatever so she does all the like she's the head of the like technological stuff that they keep on the advances that they're making um and yeah, so we, we see all of this cool stuff, guys. We get introduced to all of this stuff, and we're going to find out a lot more, and the plot will thicken. I will tell you guys, uh, Prison Island, um, when we get to Prison Island, we will get to Prison Island. Not super short. Oh, look, we can see the head of the Makanas from here. Right there. You can right above Shulk's head. That's crazy. Um, but yeah, so we're not going to get there right away, I don't think. Uh, but once we get there, guys, oh my god, the plot gets, like, crazy. And it, it's, like, it. I feel like it escalates from that point. It just kind of gets crazy. Look, it gets dark. Stars are coming out and stuff. Um, it, it doesn't get, like, crazy crazy, but it's just, like, the plot thickens. And we get introduced to, like, these really cool things. And it's going to be super awesome. So stay tuned for that. Um... Yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I'm Morali. I do stream over on Twitch every Sunday and Monday. Uh, I do a bunch of different things. I try to do impromptu streams. So if you guys want to hang out with me over there, uh, I would really appreciate that. If you guys haven't uh, subscribed to the channel yet, I would also really, really appreciate that as well. Uh, and leave a like, please, uh, if you could. And um, a comment if you guys want to just let me know. You know, just let me know how your day was or whatever you're excited about or what your favorite character is or something that bothers you. You know, I, I know there's certain people that is like, uh, certain stuff bothers you. So, uh, but yeah, whatever. Uh, you know, whatever you let me know. So thank you guys so much and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye guys.